Hey everyone, it's Thursday. Happy Thursday. Not too happy for me. I had to go back to the oral surgeon this morning for an emergency visit. My tooth, my bottom tooth that had two root canals in it still hurts. Yesterday it felt great. I thought for sure I was better. It was like awesome. And then I went to bed and it was kind of hurting when I went to bed and when I woke up this morning it was hurting. And so he drilled it again and gave me some antibiotics and he's not ready to give up on it. He doesn't want to pull it yet, which is fine. I don't want him to pull it if he doesn't have to, you know. It's just so, it's just such a pain in the mouth. <laughs> pain in the butt and a pain in the mouth. So I've just been laying down today I went to the store and got my prescription and bought some soft food. What did I buy today? Bought some more sour cream because we're almost out. This one's almost empty. I know I have a whole bag of potatoes down there, but I wanted just some fast mashed potatoes because I'm just not in the mood to boil potatoes, you know, for mashed potatoes. However, I will have a baked potato probably sometime soon. So, and then what else did I buy? Oh, a can of refried beans. Because I figured I could put cheese on it and some taco sauce. I'm just, I'm just going to stick to soft stuff for the next day or two. So, anyway. While I was at the store, I went ahead and bought Mums. They were... Four dollars each so this one is kind of a rust and yellow color and this one will be for my father-in-law for their for his grave and then this one is for my mother-in-law and then this one is for my friend Nikki and then here are the pinwheels I got I'll be sticking the pinwheels inside you know, like boop, when when we get there to the um, to their cemeteries, but so I'll put Nikki's in her thing like that. It'll be so pretty. So I'm just gonna have to. I'm gonna put them somewhere. I need to water them probably because I just wanted to hurry up and get them so I didn't have to stress over it and fight the crowd. You know, to get. The mums. So I need to put them somewhere. I usually put them right here, so I need to move this. This goes outside. I need to put that up somewhere. So I'm just gonna water these real fast. They're kind of moist already, but I just want to give them a little bit of water. I almost got myself a plant just to keep in the house. Maybe I still will. Can't beat four bucks. And these are the large plants. So I'm thoroughly enjoying my new candle. The Calming Waves. It it does have a decent throw, but I guess the, the scent is kind of mild. My Happily Ever After is really nice. It's really strong, yet really soft. So I've almost burned this one up. And I have a, another one to go. I really like this. It This one smells a lot like Beach Cabana, but it's a little softer. Um... Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I am. I just started a load of laundry. Oh, I wanted to let you guys see. I got some thank you cards in the mail today. I wanted to let my friends Sue and Angel know that I got your cards. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. 
I sent them some bra a bracelet and so you know I hope for everybody who has a bracelet or a necklace I hope that they didn't get broken in the mail I did have one come back to me for um, an expired address and I opened it up and the bracelet was broken the clasp broke off um, I didn't think you know I didn't pad I haven't been padding my bracelets. I just put them in a little baggie, put them in the card, and mail them. But now I'm I'm using little foam pads, just the little sheets of foam, you know, the really super thin craft foam, to kind of soften the blow. <laughs> because yeah, the one one of the clasps broke. And then I have a little charm, a little heart charm that I put on there as well, and that had broken off. So if you guys got a, a broken necklace or bracelet for me, I'm really sorry. And please let me know, because I will totally make you another one. I just, I feel so bad about that. So let me know. Good. I just started a load of laundry. I don't know about you, but... When I get in a panic, I start cleaning, just in case I don't have time to later. When I woke up this morning with my toothache, I was like, oh crap. And so after I called the dentist and got the appointment arranged and set up, I hurried up and started a load of laundry. I did the whites because we needed underwear. And I was like, oh my gosh, I better do it now because what if I'm sick or something? And won't be able to do it later. So, like at 7 in the morning, I started a load of laundry. And I got that done and put away. I don't know. I'll, and then I, I, like, straightened up the bed. I just kind of start straightening up when there's a problem. Because, I don't know, I guess it makes me feel better. Or maybe I just, I have relief knowing that that will be done and I won't have to worry about it. I don't know. It's really weird. Maybe it's called nesting. Is that nesting? Like when pregnant women are about to give birth, they start nesting and preparing and getting everything organized and done. Is that what I'm doing? <laughs> I've never had a kid, so I don't know what nesting really feels like. <laughs> but I do have a little, a little baby kitty that likes to cuddle with me like she's laying in a nest. And then this one likes to lay in the laundry basket. <laughs> Look at that! The second I got the clothes out of here, she jumped right in and hasn't left. She loves this. She's got her own right there, but she likes to lay in the stuff that's not hers, huh? Huh? I love you. Whatever Lola wants, Lola gets. Same with the Momo, but. Lola comes first. <laughs> oh, where's Sissy? Oh, there you are. You having fun? Okay. So for dinner tonight, I'm making Western Family Deluxe. Daryl's not hungry. He doesn't want anything. So, oh, I'm going to have my mac and cheese. My mac and cheese, pretty please. Lola begged me to go out, so I let her out while I'm cooking. You be good. You don't go anywhere. I'm good. You stay. Turned out to be a really, really nice day. I hope to go on a walk later. Hopefully my tooth doesn't start hurting. No, my girl. My big betta bamba. I love you so much. That's right. That's right. Mmm, there's my pot of gold. Mm. And I added onion powder and pepper. I'm telling you, onion powder, it's the secret to the universe. Mm-hmm.
so good. I think I'm gonna go outside and eat though. Cause it's hot in this house. Oh yeah, much better out here. I never eat out here. Daryl and I tried to eat out here one other time and it was ridiculous. The wind was blowing and our food was blowing. Not to mention the table's awfully tiny. You guys, I cannot get enough of this macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese, period, is good. If I would let myself, I'd eat the whole pot. It's closet time, everybody! Denied. I got denied. They're denying me. Actually, Daryl just went outside in the front yard, so he opened up the door right as I was like dinging the bell. So, I think the cats are just chillaxing by the front door. That's okay. I need to make this a fast closet time because I am hot. I just got out of the shower. And so, you know, you get all muggy and hot in the summertime and I have my ceiling fan on but we haven't turned the air conditioner on we're just saving it we're gonna save it until we can't take it anymore <laughs> man we are crossing our fingers on that because you know it's the original air conditioner heater that came with the house like 15 years or so ago it's old and a few years ago it was making the air conditioner unit was making a nasty noise, but it was able to get fixed, and it was just like the compressor or something was off. I don't know. I don't know what I just said. I don't know, because I don't know what I'm talking about, but the guy fixed it fast. And so we're just hoping that it doesn't break down anytime soon, because that is freaking, what are they, like 10 grand to get a new one? I don't know. So anywho, because you know we have central air and stuff. So we're just putting off the air conditioning until absolutely necessary and then every year we just cross our fingers. But anywho, so far so good on the tooth, another finger cross. I just hope and pray I don't have any pain again. So I have to take antibiotics three times a day, not augmenting. I told them no augmenting because that ripped up my stomach last time. So it's just regular amoxicillin 500 or whatever it is. And so I had that a little while back and it was okay. It didn't hurt me. So that's what I'm taking and some painkillers. And now I'm already constipated from the painkillers and my stomach's out to here and I'm ready to just take a laxative. <laughs> but it's like I don't dare to take anything because what if I have an emergency dental visit again, you know? So we'll just see if, if I'm feeling good tomorrow. I'm going to take Miralax in the morning because that always kind of just loosens things up. And then tomorrow I'm going to my mom's and then Daryl's meeting me there afterward, after work and he'll mow the lawn and mom and I are going to the store. So I'll, maybe tomorrow night I'll take some milk of magnesia and hopefully fix that hole. If it's not this hole, it's that hole. So anyway, I am going to skedaddle. I hope you had a great day today. And I hope you have a wonderful sleep. And we'll see you hopefully tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay. Good night, everyone. There's my pot of gold. Mm.